Now, stakeholders in the mines and steel development sector have stressed the need to guard against unsafe mining practices and reduce instances of individuals exploiting the state resources to the detriment of the country's development. They made this point in Ado Ekiti at the third edition of the National Council on Mining and Mineral Resources Development with the theme Nigeria Minerals and Metal Sector Spectrum for Investment Opportunities for Economic Growth and Development. The governor of Ekiti State, Kayode Fayemi, who is a former minister of mines and steel development and conversed for increased funding for the mining sector owing to its capital intensive nature. On his part, the Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Olamile Kong at said no fewer than 1,346 artisanal uh, mining operators had formed cooperatives in readiness to access small scale mining licenses, adding that under the government's mining finances support fund, qualified artisanal mining operators would access between 100,000 and 10 million naira in business support. The recent vital revelation by the Honorable Minister on the status of the 2.5 billion naira solid mineral development fund that we placed in the Bank of Industry, where he affirmed that only 95 million naira has so far been accessed, is something that should worry all of us. Our hope and expectation was that players in the sector would quickly access this and justify additional resources to be raised. The Ministry has, as one of its priorities for implementation of the roadmap, the need to improve on the engagement of stakeholders at the sub-national level, particularly state governments, local governments and communities. We have been mobilizing all critical stakeholders in the mining ecosystem, working together with government at all levels to achieve the desired results.